Yeah. Okay, so what we have here is a picture tube. Now the picture tube is the, the output device for that little part of the television, just like the output device for uh, the radio is the loudspeaker, this is uh, the picture tube. So if I turn this up, you'll see a blue line there. What that blue line is, is electrons. Now electrons are uh, one of the particles that you have inside an atom, and electrons are what carry electricity basically. Now in the case of the television, the electrons are what make the picture on the screen. So these electrons are travelling in a straight line. Any ideas as to how we might get those electrons all over the screen? Because we've got to create um, a picture across the entire screen. We're not looking for all the electrons to be concentrated on one part of the screen. How are we going to get that electron beam across the screen? Any ideas? Nope. Nice. Hmm? Nice. Not mirrors, no. Because it's not light, you can't deflect it. Okay. Like, so, uh, like network and wires? Nope, nothing to do with wires. Yep. Could you not get an amplifier? Um, no, an amplifier just increases the, the sound, basically. Is Definitely. Nope. Do you want one of those big glass things that make it go out? Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't know what you mean, but that's what we're going to get. Yes, it's a magnet. Yes, a magnet. We should add your hand up then, Fraser. Okay, so, straight line. <laughs> that's sweet, that's what you mean. Uh, the straight line there, if I pop this magnet in here, whoa, whoa. whoa. there we go. We can basically move that about, we can move it to any point on the screen. So what this actually uses is it uses magnets to get the electron beam to any point on the screen. So see that? So that can move, that moves up and down there, but we can also have magnets at the side that move it from side to side. So that electron beam gets diverted all the way across the screen and that's what builds up the picture on the screen. But it's not quite as simple as that because normally on the front of this, obviously not in here because this isn't attached to a television, but the whole picture tube is comprised of this bit and then also a screen in front of it that's covered with an element called phosphorus and that phosphorus glows when the electrons hit it. So every time that electron beam scans across, that phosphor screen, it causes a glow which makes light and makes the picture that's on your screen.